Motherhood's been her all-encompassing dream. I haven't really changed my habits at all <laughs> since um, the baby's been born. You're spending 10 times as much on your car as you are on your baby. The money is going a lot faster than I thought it would. I can't fix this. Mm -hmm. I can't. My name is Melanie, I'm 38 years old. I'm a business analyst on Matt Leaf. This is Jude, and he is the love of my life. I'm Bob, I'm Melanie's father. Motherhood's been her all-encompassing dream. I decided to go with donor insemination to have a child. I knew going into having this baby that I would be changing my income drastically, but I didn't want to not have the option of having a child. You could characterize her spending habits as sort of impulse buy, that if I want it, I'm gonna buy it. I make enough. I should be able to buy what I want. I love to travel. I normally have a big vacation at least once a year. I love my car, it's super cute. Mel's choice of a car as a mom probably couldn't be worse. I also love my motorcycle. It hasn't been used in at least a year. I haven't really changed my habits at all <laughs> since um, the baby's been born. $118.57. He's had pictures taken with three different photographers, and he's only three months old. I think one of the habits she's probably gotten into is not planning ahead in terms of meals. We definitely go out for dinners, we go out for brunches. I've always kind of been, buy now, put on my credit card, and pay it off later. And I think that's where her challenge is now, is that she can't. When Mel said she was uh, going to have a year's mat leave, I'm thinking, I don't know what you get on mat leave. Uh, certainly it's less than what she was making. It is unrealistic to live on $400 a week without any savings. I didn't really think about how much my debt was going to be. So I have some concerns now that I didn't have before. The money is going a lot faster than I thought it would, so I'm going into debt a lot faster than I ever imagined. I guess my biggest fear at this point is that Melanie may not be able to support Jude and herself. I don't know how I'm gonna get through the year, and I really wanna be able to take the year with my son. This month, I'll help this single mom bring up baby while staying in the black. I have been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt and how to balance it all with the priorities of parenting. Melanie decided to stay home for the first year of her baby's life without running the numbers. Now she's struggling to survive on a drastically reduced income and she's racking up the debt. She's on the road to ruin and she's got a couple of ways to get there. Snubby little car and a motorbike don't really fit with a baby. A lot of other stuff's gonna have to change too. Hi. Hi. I'm Melanie and this is Jude. Gail Voss Oxley. So nice to meet you. First thing I'd like to do is just have a quick tour around. Oh, it's a really nice layout. So do you cook at home a lot? No, I love to cook, but I rarely cook at home. <laughs> Take out. Yes. <laughs> you need to make space in your fridge for the stuff that you're going to start cooking. OK. Oh, nice job in the baby's room. You think you have enough stuffed toys? Now, are these the professional pictures you had done of the baby? Yes, they are. What did you pay for them? $300. How did you pay for them? Credit. Yeah. OK, so these are all the places you've been on the map. And do you have delusions that you're going to do traveling again? Well, I really want to take him to see the world. So we're going to talk about your expectations of your life, because there's going to be a little bit of a clash. So the basic issues here is that you let your baby clocks ticking drive you crazy. Yes. And you think you can have it all, baby and everything else, too. Yeah. You have a locker full of toys. Yes. You have a really nice motorcycle downstairs. Yes. You have a cute little sports car. Yeah. You're also eating out and traveling. Yes. Where are your concessions? I haven't really made any yet. How much financial planning did you do? I did quite a bit. Probably not the best. <laughs> How deeply in debt will you be by the time you go back to work? I figured probably $20,000. Really? Well, I don't know. How will you plan for 
the future, if you're walking around with a ton of debt. I'm hoping you'll help. There's no question in my mind that you're smart enough to do this right. I'm just wondering if you've formed so many bad habits up until now, if you can actually turn those off mm -hmm. so that you can do the right thing. And I'm worried about that. I can't fix this. Mm -hmm. I can't. But you can. Yeah. yeah. Time to change your thinking. Yes. The reason you're here is because she's been pulling a fast one and letting everybody think that she's okay, she's okay. Mm -hmm. And she's not so okay, okay? Mm -hmm. Jude comes along. You go out and spend some money on home decor and you get a baby talent agent and you fix up the baby's room and you buy some baby photographs and you do some scrapbooking and you spend some money on the baby. Wow. Oh my God. This was like your excuse to shop. Yeah. Here's your shopping for one month. 37, 61, 75. Wow, that's a lot higher than I thought. <laughs> You're gonna buy baby books and toys for a brand new baby? You're not buying this for Jude. No, I'm buying that for me. Yes, you are. Fast food, fast food. Online music, more fast food, housewares. There's a lot of want on here. Yes. Remind me again what your mat leave income is. That's $1,600 a month. Her mat leave income does not cover her mortgage and her car payment. It was a huge surprise. I thought she was in really good shape. Melanie's maternity pay is only a quarter of her salary. And because so many of her costs are fixed, there's not a lot of wiggle room. If she doesn't stop spending, she's gonna end up in a whack of debt by the end of this year. On your math leave income, savings, nothing right now. Mm -hmm. Debt repayment, your significantly reduced income, it represents 38% of your income. Your transportation costs are at 48%. You're spending almost half your mat leave income mm -hmm. on your car. Your housing now represents 70% of your income. When we come to life on mat leave, you're spending almost 200%. The long and the short of it is, based on the way you have been spending so far, mm -hmm. you're overspending by about $4,900 every month. That means after a year of mat leave, you'd be $60,000 in a hole. You have the thing that you say is the most important thing in your life. You have to start treating him like he's the most important thing in your life. Yeah, I wasn't doing what I should have for Jude. And so now I need from you a commitment. I want to know whether you are prepared to do anything I ask in order to try and get this straightened out. I promise. You are my witness. I'm in. Okay. I'm gonna give you a series of challenges to do. Do the challenges to my satisfaction. I'll give you up to $5,000 to help take care of the debt problem. So we have to do a few things mm -hmm. this month, okay? Yeah. We have to make a financial plan. You're gonna to have to decide what's really important to you, okay, what your priorities actually are. Mm -hmm. And you have some debt now that we have to work on. Mm -hmm. The next thing you need to do is get me your debit cards and your credit cards, because you're gonna to learn to live on cash, okay? okay? Yep. Money, 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 money. Ah! Money, 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 money. Single mother Melanie is trying to raise her son on a paternity leave income. There was nobody in my life to share a baby with, so I decided to look into donor insemination. But the baby didn't stop her from impulse spending. Melanie is, is much more of, a, a more of a spender than a saver. She'd rather spend money than time in the kitchen. My worst habit when spending money is the takeout. That's where a lot of my money's been going. Keep the change. Thanks so much. I haven't been the best support in terms of getting her to stop eating out. I'm an enabler with my own desire for takeout and easy food. If she wants to get back on the right path, she'll have to follow my rules. For the next month, this single mother will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. She'll complete weekly challenges to tackle her money issues. And if she's willing to change, I'll reward her with thousands of dollars to pay down her debt. No changes, no money. Give me your cards. Good. I'm going to cut your spending by 82%. So you were spending about $3,500 a month. Now you'll have $625 a month. But that's for your variable expenses. That doesn't include your mortgage payment or your car payment or any of that sort of stuff, okay? So what you will have is $37.50 a week for food. You'll have $31.25 for transportation. You will have a whopping $12.50 for entertainment. Clothing and gifts? There's nothing in it! Other? 
$25 a week. Baby supplies, because mm -hmm. Jude shouldn't suffer for mommy's stupidity. Right. <laughs> $50 a week. This means you have $200 a month mm -hmm. to spend on your baby compared to the over $900 you spent in that one month. Right. It's going to be really hard for me to live on cash for this challenge just because I rarely use cash. Rarely. Okay, you ready for your first challenge? Yes. You're going to have to make a big decision. Melanie doesn't earn enough on maternity leave to cover her basic expenses. And the longer she stays home with baby, the deeper the debt. The choice is up to her. But if she's going to stay home with baby for the full year, she's going to have to show me she has a plan for dealing with the debt. So will you stay home and go deeper into debt? Or will you go back to work early? I'm still hoping that I can take the full year of mat leave, but definitely supplement my income. Okay, so we want to make a balanced budget. Let's start with mortgage, condo fees, and property taxes, $1,444. This is the really big one when I go back to work, about $1,200 a month. That's the car payment, 454 Vacation. I've seen most of the world, but dude hasn't seen any of it. 100 for vacation. After all my expenses, I have $464 for debt repayment when I go back to work. Now we're gonna figure out my mat leave budget. So we're gonna take away vacation, take away baby clothes, take away the baby classes, take away restaurants, because I'm not allowed to eat out anymore. No more scrapbooking and knitting. Take one away. I don't get to play hockey, I don't get to skate. Car payment is staying. I'm keeping my car. Knowing now what I know, I don't know how she can keep the car, even if she's got to take a loss on it. We're in the hole, 1,000. <laughs> 20, okay, and then I have nine more months of mat leave, which works out to 9,180. In the hole. Next. Melanie made a plan for paying off the $18,000 of debt she'll accumulate after a year of maternity leave. No, we gotta sell some stuff. Let's see how much money we can save here, mister. We sell the motorcycle, grandma's artwork, mom's baseball card collection, the comic books. How about great-great-grandma's china? 100 bucks for the china. That works out to about 13,000 that we owe. That's a much better number. Let's see what that's like over two years. That we might be able to do. That's not too bad. I understand that you've made a decision that acquiring a little bit of debt, as long as you get it paid off within the two years you've specified, right. won't be a problem. Melanie has decided to take the full year of maternity leave. Saving up a baby would have kept her out of debt. But at least I've got her planning for how she's going to dig herself out of this mess. However, when I had a look at her budget, I still had some concerns. You've cut everything back to the bare bone. Tried. You have $15 a month for baby clothes. Really? Snowsuits, boots. Where are diapers, food? I have no idea. He's three months old. I don't know how much he's going to cost. Based on your budget right now, mm -hmm. you are spending $90 a month on your baby. You're spending $850 on transportation. You're spending 10 times as much on your car as you are on your baby. It seemed so wrong. Definitely. Um huge discrepancy in my priorities. Want to know what your next challenge is? Yes. <laughs> you and Christy have a great time together. Yes. And every time she comes over, you order in. Yes. But that has to stop. Okay. So I have a challenge for the both of you, and you will be in competition with each other. You're going to have to shop for groceries okay. and make meals. And hopefully, at the end of all of this, both you and Christy will know how to shop, cook, and eat on a budget. OK. okay? <laughs> we eat out all the time. Um, I don't think we've ever cooked for each other. Coming up, too many cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Single mom Melanie has committed to living on a tight budget so she can stay home for a year with her son. This is the only time in my life I'm ever going to be able to spend an entire year with my son. It's not like I have an option of being a stay-home mom. There's nobody else to bring in an income. She's made a plan to deal with the debt she'll incur, but some of her other priorities are still way out of whack. It just doesn't work as a parent's vehicle. And she's using the baby as an excuse to spend on everything from traveling to takeout. The jar that's going to be the hardest to stick to will be food because it has been so easy to just get takeout. If she wants to earn up to $5,000, she'll have to complete my challenges. 
This week, I've challenged her to find ways to make her modest grocery budget go further. And she's going head to head with her best friend, Christy. Normally, mom would get organic bananas, but she can't afford that anymore. Melanie's breastfeeding her baby, so she only needs to feed herself with that $37 a week. But she's gonna have to shop smart and make meal plans. Chickpeas, 79 cents. This is ice cream, we can't afford ice cream anymore. Bagels, two breakfasts, and my dinner. That's the last thing on our list, let's hope we have enough money. 33.43 is your total? Oh good, I made it. So I got a little bit extra to spend during the week. Your total is $30.55? Excellent. I was really surprised that I didn't spend all the money. Christy and Melanie both came in on the budget. But did they buy enough food for a week? I brought an expert in to evaluate their cooking and weekly meal plans. As far as volume goes, uh, you know, this one seems to be bigger. But this one definitely looks healthier. So why I end up eating out is because my produce does go bad. If you plan your week and you sort of maximize all of the groceries that you've got. And a lot of people, what they do with their herbs is wrap it in paper towel with water and then put it in the freezer. Two, you, you're on a mission right now to create a fabulous meal. Let's get cooking. All right, let's go. go. My soup is gonna kick your stir fries butt. <laughs> Well, I better, because we're going to be eating it for seven days. <laughs> <laughs> I pretty much plan my week around two meals. Oh, it smells good. So I'm going to be judging you on taste, practicality, smarts, and your budget. And the winner is... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Point. Yep, this one worked just a little bit better because you're getting more bang for your buck. She had done a better job of planning than I had because I just kind of went with one dish. I was kind of thinking about the dish instead of really the week. I probably can survive on $37.50 a week for food. So, have you been using the kitchen more? A ton more. I've. I've been cooking a lot. Have you ordered in in the last week? I haven't ordered in anything. So what was the lesson in this? I can definitely eat on $37 a week okay. and eat well. Worthwhile exercise? <laughs> really, yes. Yeah. Want to know what the next one is? Mm -hmm. Yes. What kind of car do you drive again? <laughs> a small car. What kind of car do you drive? A big, a big car. car. Does her car cost more than your car? Oh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Even when you go back to work, yeah. the car is eating more of your disposable income than it should be. So Great. you need a plan. Yeah. And so what we're going to do this week is we're going to put planning front and center. The only plan I've ever made probably is to get pregnant with Jude. Money, 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 money. Ah! Money, 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 money. Ah! Melanie is a single mom who is spending beyond her means. Wow, that adds up. But you're so worth it, little man. I challenged her to create a budget for her year of maternity leave. And she's learned to give up takeout by embracing her love of cooking. She's done well. But if she wants to earn up to $5,000, she needs to take a hard look at whether her cute, expensive car fits her mummy lifestyle. I'm still not sure that I need to get rid of the car. When you bought it, did you know you were going to be having a baby? Yes, you bought it anyway. Melanie financed her car over five years. Every month she pays $450, and there's an $8,000 payment due at the end of the term. Let's have a look at all the trunk space that you've got. Oh my! The only thing missing is a kitchen sink from the looks yeah. of this. Okay, you've got a car seat in there now. Tell okay. me how you get that out. Okay, so we're already <laughs> catching on the side of the yeah. door here. Yeah. yeah, five pounds to go. Oh my. This that's, is what he's gonna be in. Yeah, it's gonna it. be really hard to get in and out. This is the type of car I want you to think about okay. moving forward. Uh, four doors. You can get okay. into it. There's a trunk. <laughs> this is what you're currently paying every month, plus that over $8,000 balloon payment at the end. Yeah. Look at that. That's a much better number. Two forty nine. dollars no balloon payment. Melanie will take a loss if she sells the car, but with lower monthly payments and lower maintenance costs, she'll come out ahead. Whether she's ready to give up that sassy single lady mobile is another story. No matter what, you've got a balloon payment at the end of this loan. So you're gonna have to expect to take a hit. Okay. Um, it's tough to make money when you've bought a brand new car. The bottom line on this is I would wait till spring for a better market. What I want you to start doing now with this though is consider that it's not your car anymore. Okay. Keep the carpet clean, keep it cleaned out. Okay. Try and protect it. Pretend you're borrowing the car from now on. Yeah. The positive side of this is when you move up to the car that's gonna fit your lifestyle better, it's going to be so much more practical. It's going to be so much easier for you and your son. Okay. All right. So have you come to a decision about the car? I'm totally selling the car. Come the spring. Really? Yes. When I got here, you were pretty married to that car. <laughs> I love the look of my car. It's fun to drive, but um, it, I know that it's not super practical. It's hard to get the stroller out. It's hard to get Jude out. I just was in 
denial. There's better things to put that money towards. Um, definitely for Jude. He's more important. Uh, how about the cooking at home? I'm excited to be back to cooking because yeah. I've got all my mom's recipes that are just sitting there and would love to use again. So have you seen any changes in her? Huge change. Happier. Yes? Yeah. Because yeah. you see, she knows what's happening now. Yeah. She's not flying by the seat of her pants anymore. Somebody other than the family or friends. Yes. Had to <laughs> Come in and smack her out the way. side of the head. <laughs> so when I got here, you were overspending by about $4,900 a month and headed to about $60,000 worth of debt by the end of Matt Leaf. Yeah. And that was too much. Way too much. <laughs> so now you're in a much better place because you're dealing with your money and your life with a plan, yeah. as opposed to just flying by the seat of your pants. I like a plan. I know you do. <laughs> so now you know that you can live on a lot less than you thought. Oh my gosh, yeah. Especially when you eat at home. Yeah. And then there's that whole thing about life before Jude and life after Jude and knowing which one is the most important to you. Oh yeah, life yeah. after. I think you've done very well. I have a check for you for $5,000. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> I really learned about planning, not just planning for the next month or so, but actually I loved the five-year plan. I also have for you $300 worth of gift certificates for baby and mum programs of your choice. Oh, that's mm. awesome. I really just planned to get pregnant and not planned what it was going to be like after. Now I'm definitely going to plan for his future and think about all the things that are gonna come because he's now the number one priority. Six weeks later, Melanie's sticking to her budget. She sold her motorcycle and her comic books and used the proceeds to pay down debt. And she's managed to pick up some part-time work for a little extra cash.